United Arab Emirates donates funds to Palestinians. The UAE has contributed 12.5 million U.S. dollars to the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine refugees in the Near East, or UNRWA. It is part of a larger commitment of 15 million U.S. dollars given during 2019 to the organization and is used to support education, primary health care, and social services. The nation was also a major donor in 2018. UNRWA provides services to 5.5 million Palestinians in Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, the West Bank, and Gaza. Our loving gratitude, United Arab Emirates, and heaven's blessings for your generous assistance. Many thanks also, UNRWA, for your dedication to our Palestinian brothers and sisters. May the spiritual people of Palestine find lasting peace, contentment, and stability in Allah's wise guidance. Green Climate Fund, part of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, announces new projects to enhance resilience. Working in collaboration with the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, the Green Climate Fund is providing funding to support climate stabilizing projects in Chile and Nepal. Chile will utilize a 63 million U.S. dollar red plus results-based payment funding to restore and conserve about 25,000 hectares of native forest. Which is expected to decrease greenhouse gas emissions by 1.1 million tons of CO2. REDD stands for Reducing Emissions from Deforestation and Forest Degradation. In Nepal, a 40 million U.S. dollar grant from GCF will help 1 million people in the Chulia Hills region address flooding, the decline of forests, and soil erosion. The UN is a Shining World Leadership for Life Saving Hero Award laureate. Our accolades and much appreciation, Green Climate Fund and the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization. May countries around the globe continue to support a sustainable planet and an illuminating future for coming generations in divine upliftment. Electric vehicle sales show substantial increase in Europe. Sales of new battery-powered electric cars and plug-in hybrids more than doubled during a one-year period in the European Union, according to recent data issued by the European Automobile Manufacturers Association. The third quarter of 2019 saw 73,000 of all electric vehicles sold, compared to just 32,000 in the same period in 2018. Also, during the third quarter in 2019, the market share of all alternatively powered vehicles, including hybrid cars, was 11.3 percent. Hooray, European citizens, for our eco-transport choices! With this adoption of clean technology, may your cities grow in vibrancy and beauty, in heaven's benevolent radiance. United States scientists invent innovative material that follows the sun. A team of scientists, led by Dr. Shi Minhe of the University of California, Los Angeles, or UCLA, has developed a polymer capable of phototropism, or the ability to respond to light, dubbed Sunbot, which stands for Sunflower-like Biomimetic Omnidirectional Tracker. It's made up of tiny stems, roughly one millimeter in diameter. These, in turn, are infused with a nano material that causes them to bend toward the light source. The advanced polymer has exciting potential in the field of sustainable energy, as it could give a tremendous boost to the efficiency of solar panels, as well as many other possible uses. What a remarkable discovery, Dr. Shi Minhe and team! May it bring many new opportunities for tapping into the sun's great energy for a world blessed in God's overflowing abundance. Japan provides developmental assistance to Afghan refugees in Pakistan. The government of Japan, a Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and Animal Protection laureate, has donated 2.1 million U.S. dollars to the United Nations Refugee Agency, or UNHCR. To assist 70,000 refugees and host communities in the Balochistan, Islamabad, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Punjab, and Sindh areas of Pakistan, 
implemented under the internationally supported Refugee Affected and Hosting Areas Program. The initiative will increase the beneficiaries' access to primary health care, potable water, sanitation, education, and social protection, as well as improve livelihoods. Speaking of the latest endeavor, the Japanese ambassador to Pakistan, His Excellency Kuninori Matsuita, commended the government of Pakistan for having hosted the Afghan refugees for four decades. Our respectful salute and heaven's blessings, Japan, for your caring contribution and UNHCR for your dedicated efforts. May those in need be assisted and empowered through your kind collaboration in the overflowing love of the Providence. Animal rights activists hold peaceful protests in supermarkets. New Zealand members of the International Animal Rights Group Direct Action Everywhere have been conducting protests in front of refrigerated meat sections in local supermarkets, holding signs and handing out flyers. The group hopes to raise awareness of what goes on behind the scenes in the meat industry and would like people to switch to a vegan diet and respect the animal's right to live. They also seek to eliminate slaughterhouses by 2025. Our sincere thanks, Direct Action Everywhere, for helping individuals understand the connection between their food and the cherished lives of animals. May your demonstrations awaken the innate compassion in people's hearts as veganism blossoms around the world. Supreme Master Ching Hai highly applaud and present Direct Action Everywhere, the Shining World Courage Compassion Award with 20,000 US dollars to lovingly support your further endeavor. With all love, best wishes and prayers for your success. God loves you and New Zealand. Rare black rhinos are relocated to Malawi. South Africa recently moved 17 black rhinos, a critically endangered species, from the KwaZulu-Natal province to Malawi in an effort to support genetic diversity and good health among Malawi's rhino population. Their new home will be the well-protected Lewanda National Park in southern Malawi, which uses ranger patrols, aerial surveillance, and advanced technology to ensure safety. British defense units also help to patrol the area. The relocation was organized by wildlife departments in the two countries as well as conservation organization World Wide Fund for Nature or WWF South Africa. Our sincere appreciation South Africa, Malawi, WWF South Africa, and all who are participating in the safeguarding of the precious black rhinos. May they and other magnificent native species thrive as they enjoy the serenity and beauty of their natural homes.